that has a passion for teaching children with special needs. Her patience and understanding calms students frustrated with assignments so they can continue to develop it. WDEF News Chief Photographer David Moore shows us why she's this year's first Golden Apple Award winner. What do you think this book is going to be about? Apples! I started teaching and was led to the teaching field because I had an uncle with a disability. He had to quit school in the fourth grade because they couldn't carry him up the 40 steps to the school. Let's count the apples. I'm sad for Uncle Chuck, but I am very glad at the progress that the country has made with disabilities. Right now I have one student that is an elementary age student, okay, and I have six students who are preschoolers, and we have uh, all type of special needs and special disabilities. Tessa, there's an apple. She doesn't treat any of her children any different from one to the other. Um, she really works hard. She loves each and every one of them, and she's just an awesome person. All right, Alex. She's just been awesome. She's uh, just helped him with uh, learning different things, with different skills that he wouldn't be able to complete without a special ed teacher. And I just feel like that God has really blessed us with you know, with Sally. We take them where they are, okay? God made everybody perfect. So we take you where you are and we move you forward. My goal for every child is to take them to their maximum level, their maximum potential, no matter what it is. It might not be what everybody else does, but I can't play the piano. Am I disabled? They love to learn. They're eager. I love them. I love my job. And if you know a special teacher, nominate him or her for a Golden Apple Award. Just fill out the form online at WDEF.com. Then watch every other Tuesday to see if your teacher actually makes the grade. How's your